welcome to this week's lesson of Sunday School. Today, we're still in that wonderful land, that special oasis they call En Gedi. Can anyone remember where we read about En Gedi? Some of you might have guessed it already or remembered. It's 1 Samuel chapter 24. And today we're going to be reading from verse 2. I want to see if anyone can guess what topic we're going to be reading about in En Gedi. The clues are all in verse 2. So listen very carefully. And it reads, Then Saul took 3,000 men of Israel and went to seek David and his men on the rock of the wild goats. Anybody get, guess what we're going to be discussing today? If you said anything like wild goats or animals, then you guessed correctly. Today we're going to be talking about animals in En Gedi. So we're going to be talking about two animals specifically, one which is the ibex and one which is called the hyrax. So the ibex is the wild goat talked about in verse 2. And the ibex, they grow from about one foot to about 5.5 feet. And that's from their hoof all the way up to their horns. These animals, they only eat vegetation. So they eat shrubs, grass and bushes. They make their homes on cliffs where dangerous predators find it hard to follow. Also, they have an amazing ability to run up and down very steep surfaces very fast without falling down. If you and I was to try the same thing, running up high mountain cliffs and rocky places very, very fast, we would most probably fall down very often. But these animals have a wonderful ability to stay on their feet. And now the hyrax. There are three different types of hyraxes. There is the rock hyrax, which we're talking about today. There's the tree hyrax, and there's the bush hyrax. Concerning the rock hyraxes, they have a special ability to communicate with each other. They make these special or funny sounds to each other, which create a song. Isn't that amazing that these animals can actually create a song? Maybe not a song that you and I would create if we was writing or singing a song, but amongst animals, their communication is considered a song. Why is it important to understand this information? Well, especially throughout the Bible, God uses animals, or God has used animals to teach us many valuable lessons. Jesus said, look at the lilies of the field and look at the sparrows. Solomon said, consider the ant. And David, who we've talked a lot about, especially with En Gedi, he wrote about the deer panting for the water brooks. So you see, animals are used over and over again to teach us valuable lessons. So let's take a closer look at the ibex and the hyrax. What is God trying to tell us through this? Well, these animals have an ability to survive in the wilderness and in rocky, harsh places. Number one, we've seen that the ibex can survive in cliffs and rocky places and so the rocks and the mountains for the ibex is a place of security. And as we've seen in other lessons, that David found security amongst these rocks. And the Bible says that God is our rock, so God is also our security too. Number two, we've seen with the ibex that even though they're climbing up very high places, they have a really good ability to stay standing on their feet. And God is guiding their steps. And it's the same way that David, as he was in Gedi, God was guiding his steps. So we can be sure that as we put our trust in God, he can guide our steps also. And number three, the hyrax, as they communicated with each other in song, we can also communicate with our God in song through praises too. So we can sing a praise to God at any time. And it's so amazing that David, who spent so much time in En Gedi, he was also the author of many of the Psalms we read in the Bible. And these Psalms are songs. So David was also known as the great Psalmist of Israel. So we can actually read some of the Psalms and we can sing songs also and give praise to our God at any time. Well, for our homework today, what I would like us to do, I would like you to find out one more facts about the Ibex 
and find one more fax about the Hyrax. I would also like you to find a picture of the Ibex and a picture of the Hyrax. For reading, I would like you to read Deuteronomy 14 verses 1 to 5 and Psalms 104 verse 18. And as you fill out your worksheet, you can write down the facts that you found about the Hyrax and the facts that you found about the Ibex. And from the pictures that you found, I would like you to either write down a description of those animals in your worksheet or you can draw the pictures of them on the worksheet with a pencil or a pen. And if you want to, you can draw the pictures and write descriptions of them too. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoy filling in your worksheet and until the next time, God bless and see you soon.